Here we go again. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. It is Tuesday, uh, July, July, June, January the 12th. And I guess we're still licking our wounds from last night's Alabama whip ass on our Ohio State Buckeyes. In the meantime, this update is brought to you by our partners and friends at Family Farms, who is out helping try to educate farmers and help them take care of their money and their crops and their livestock and their farms all much better. And then we today is a big report in the old grain world, and uh, we'll see it noon, noon Eastern time. We will know. And, of course, there's a little bit of shrill and panic on the street right now. In, in front of this report, the price action has been very bullish. I don't know. I, I would expect if there was a pullback off of the report, I'd be a buyer. I mean, we're long anyways. But overall, I mean, you, you know, we don't play reports. I could care less. I mean, our, our algorithms are long. And since we hit 66%, we have a two, two and three chance to be right on the report. And I think it's going higher anyway. So we'll see. In the meantime. Uh, the markets themselves are all over the place. It has been up and down. And, you know, this is the new action as we consolidate getting ready either to make new highs or to finally turn over. And right now, we're still long. So our assumption will be that they're going higher. We're long all four major indices still. Uh, the metals are sloppy and all over the place. Uh, uh, platinum is higher, which we are long. Uh, gold and silver are lower, which we are short. But they've been on both sides. And I, before the end of the day, I, I was looking this morning to sell gold as a trade. Before I could hit the button, it had moved $10 lower. Okay, so anyways, either way, uh, that's where we are in, in there. Uh, net gas, a little bit higher. Copper is recovering its losses from yesterday. We're still long copper, still long net gas. Uh, bonds and notes are both remain under pressure, and we're still short both of those. And the dollar is rallying. And again, I think you might be seeing uh, the bottoming of the dollar here for now, uh, we might get a little bit of a rally here. You know, that's usually a sign of fear in the in the world of the business, uh, you know, places running for U.S. dollars for protection. So we'll see. Uh, overall, again, our position is we're still we are still short at the moment. OK, so uh, the grain markets I talked about, they're higher. Uh, you know, they're not they're not dramatically higher, but they are higher. Uh, and uh, you do have the report at noon. So we'll see, but we are long across the board. The meats, uh, feeder cattle is lower, uh, about a buck sixty. We're short. Fat cattle or live cattle is lower by about eighty cents. We are long, and hogs are just a few pennies higher, and we are long. So you know, overall, you know, it's it's really more of a, just a giant whipsaw. Uh, you know, our positions are what they are, and you know, I do think that the meats look really good either way. And I think that uh, the equities are, you know, could be could go either way. So we'll see how the picture plays out. And then the softs, uh, we're long cotton and slightly lower. We're long OJ, which is slightly higher. We're long coffee, which is higher. Uh, long sugar, which is higher. And short cocoa, which is higher. <laughs> so it's it's a mixed bag. But like I said, we don't worry about, I don't ever get involved in those positions during the day. Those will be evaluated after the close today, as they are every day. In the meantime, don't forget about our commodity report, which is phenomenal. Uh, Andy Heck, who writes it, is also the top writer for Seeking Alpha. Uh, he's got the, he's the number one follow on Seeking Alpha. Check him out. Uh, but he does the commodity report, and he is part of Bubba Trading. So uh, it's called Technimental, and with our algorithms, it's been unbelievable. And Fuego, as they like to say. And, of course, our brokerage partners, uh, which I do have other brokerage accounts, but the two that I prefer for futures and commodities, the CTG Group, which A, they are great customer service. They, they are the only authorized party to handle our letter of direction trading. They trade my accounts. And they've got some brand new, great new managed futures product, which you may want to check into. And of course, for equities and options, there is Tradier, which, you know, again, there's four reasons I give you is why Tradier is the best. Number one, their customer service. Number two, $10 a month. That could be number one. Uh, and number three, uh, we have their APIs, which means that we are now automated. If you choose to be uh, to use automation, you don't have to. That is, again, nothing we have is required. You broker where you want, you go where you want. Just we're just trying to offer you what we think is best. But in the meantime, 
And number four, they're giving away a free options course. So we just finished session one last Saturday. We got session two this Saturday. And if you want the recording from session one, feel free to email me at bob at bubbatrade.com. In the meantime, the, who else takes care of you like that? And I mean, we're talking about real training, not trying to sell. It's a real training for you. So you want to check it out. Great. And of course, don't forget about our, our high school program at Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon dot com forward slash Bubba Trading. In the meantime, have a great trading day. Be careful. That's all. Just know where you're getting out and until, to, until tomorrow. This is Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Have a great day.